Hello and welcome to the complete guide to the new features in SOI 5 programming language. My name is Mohammad Azam and I will be your instructor. I have been doing iOS development since 2010 and I have worked with many large Fortune 500 companies including Home Depot, Blinds.com, Slumberjay and so on. At present, I am working for Digital Craft where I teach programming. I also have dozens of apps on the App Store, including Vegetable Tree Gardening Guide, which is the number one gardening app on the App Store. Apart from that, I am very active on Udemy. As you can see, I have close to 39,000 students and 22 courses. And also, if you check out the trending popular instructors, you will find my name listed over there also. Let's go ahead and check out the contents of the Swift 5 course. We're going to start the course by downloading Xcode 10.2, which includes Swift 5. So this is going to allow us to use all the new features that we're going to discuss in this course. After that, you're going to learn about ABI stability. You'll learn that what exactly is ABI and how it can help guide the future of the Swift programming language. Next, we're going to learn about the raw strings and how raw strings in Swift 5 are different and how they will benefit our programming practices. Then you're going to jump into understanding the result time, which is one of my favorite features in the Swift programming language. You're going to learn that how you can use a result type to handle the success as well as the failure cases when you are consuming an API. So if 4 introduced us to the Codable protocol, which allowed us to quickly map the JSON result into our own custom models. So if 5 is going to take our Codable API or the Codable protocol into the next level by allowing us to also encode and decode ranges. This is going to be amazing. There are tons of other features that I will be discussing in this course. So if you're ready, let's get started.